Today we destroy Moonrise Towers and unlock the secret potential of the Dark Urge. And essentially finish Act 2. Pretty much made an enemy of everybody we met here. But it's actually going to give us a potentially very unique opportunity to take over the entirety of Boulder's Gate. More on that in this video towards the end. We're also going to have two epic boss battles and a bunch of very interesting story revelations. Thank you so much for all the support on this evil Baldur's Gate free playthrough. This is episode 13. The rest are linked in order in the playlist link below in the description. But I think we'll begin by resting our party at camp because they're almost all dead. After yesterday's episode where we killed the Night Song. All right, let's head to bed. Oh, hello. Your mind is heavy. The devastation of last light is sure to pique the interest of the vile Scalaritas. Tap your foot impatiently. A butler should be on time. Oh, apologies for the tardiness, my festering liege. Ha! The cleric and last light all are now but an ichored slag heap. And it was all your own work. You didn't even need your butler's advice. You have acted with the utmost decorum. First the bard, now this triumph. A part of your past is here for you. I come with your disgusting prize. Quickly, give it to me. I'll take your sugary trinket. But my killing comes from pure desire. This prize is no payment but a sign of reverence towards you. Come closer, my depraved prodigy. Ah, try on your new gym jams. They're a present from father. It would be rude not to. From father? Father. That's from Bal. Such a strapping young behemoth. <laughs> you cannot speak, but you have command over your own cruelty. What the heck? Drink in your beautiful body. I <laughs> I just want to see what happens if you panic. We become one of Bow's spawns? That's so interesting. Drink in your beautiful body. So handsome, so brazen. <laughs> This form is the Slayer. You will do many naughty feats with it. Naughty. Oh, I wish I had time to wax your hide and brush your spines. But your adoring butler must away. Why are you always busy? You're my butler. Hello there. But you should be hopeful for your bright future. You are going to kill again soon. You will keep chopping down the Moon Maiden's family tree. I shall return when you next have need of me. I have your estate to attend to. We will meet again there. Good night, sweet master. Where is my estate? Where is my hair gone? Why have I lost my hair? I've lost my clothes and my hair. Oh no, it's back now. That's good. Oh no, Shadowheart wants to speak. She, she must have seen me last night in the basement. We've also earned the new form Slayer. Manifest your savage compulsions and assume your sinuously deadly Slayer form. Has 98 hit points. I turn into a raid boss. Dude, that's overpowered. Let's speak to Shadowheart. Notice anything new? This hairstyle is closer to Lady Shah's own image. I did it to honor her. What do you think? I'll ask him with compliments about hair now. It's, uh, interesting. I love it. Embrace the darkness. Good. I did this for Lady Shah. For myself. But I had hoped you'd like it as well. I wanted to talk to you about that. Lady Shah has bestowed a great honor upon me. But it isn't without a cost, it seems. The cost? She expects me to fill my heart up with love for her alone, leaving no room for others. No room for us. 
Now, in last episode, we decided to let Shadowheart kill the Night Song. But we're going to see what happens if you still try and romance Shadowheart. Because I think Arglash would still want Shadowheart for himself. Don't throw our relationship away. I don't want to. But Lady Shah demands it. Everything is surrendered to her, ultimately. But she claims some things earlier than others, it seems. Mm, Perhaps minion. we'll still be able to find a way. Some interpretation of her will that lets us stay together. But I can't guarantee anything. And I suspect that she'll demand more and more of me as time passes. If you don't want to gamble on that, I understand. You'll have little trouble finding a more straightforward lover, I suspect. True. Lazelle is begging for it. Trust me, if I wanted straightforward, I wouldn't be seeking to woo you in the first place. <laughs> I mean, from early access Shadowheart, I feel like I can relate. I want whatever we can share. Then I can only hope Lady Shah will prove lenient if I try to keep a little piece of my heart from her. She has. And I must continue to prove myself worthy of her favour. The apostate Kethrick Thorm still lives. That will soon change if I have any say in the matter. Lady Shah's church in Baldur's Gate has yet to be cleansed. A rot has set in amongst the leadership, one that I must cut out. Even once all that is done, more will be asked of me, no doubt. The holy work will not be done until the Night Singer's eternal darkness is restored. Dude, this this is sick. I actually I rate evil Shadowheart, even though we can't have a relationship with her anymore. I'm also interested to see where the conflict of her and still liking us actually ends up. Oh my god, I can tell her about my gift. I have been gifted with the Slayer, a form most evil. You and I have markedly different ideas of what amounts to a gift. <laughs> That's it. That's it. I wanted to talk about our relationship too. Of course. May I have a kiss? This is new. Just the one. Okay. I am a monster. I am the embodiment of evil. <laughs> she took that really well. How am I holding up to your expectations? No notes. You've exceeded my every expectation. Damn, son. Considering all we've been through. I think I was very lucky to find such favorable company. And attractive company too, no less. Ugh, 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 beautiful. Ugh, ugh, make pretty shadow heart. Well, I am excited to see how that continues. <laughs> and with that, my friends, I believe we are ready for an assault on Moonrise Towers. So let's head south to Moonrise Towers. We'll fast travel just here and begin our assault. So here we are at Moonrise Towers, and it looks like there's a small party of people waiting for us here. It was you. You destroyed the Night Song. How could you do this to us? To Ketherick? To the Absolute? <laughs> You've turned your back on our Chosen in the most heinous way, and our retribution will be terrible! It's not even like we sided with the Absolute or the Last Light in. We've betrayed everyone and taken power for ourselves we've made an enemy of every single person we've met in act two stand aside zarel how funny how sad you think you're going to survive this don't you cut this fool down i will survive this you will definitely not Okay, so we have got initiative, which is great. How did they find out, though? Look at all the defensive buffs Zayrel has. After we kill Balthazar, unless he regenerated within Moonrise Towers and informed them what happened, I'm really confused how they found out that we killed the Night Song. We can use Blindness on Zayrel. Critical hit. Oh my god. She's got half a health. Gale is going to throw the most spicy fireball at the enemy. Are you guys ready? This is going to be beautiful. No! She silenced me! How dare you! Now my wizard is utterly useless! Do I have a scroll of fireball? I do have a scroll of fireball. Can we use this? Maybe Shadowheart can use the scroll. I don't know if it will do as much damage, but we're going to fire it right at them. Dispel this! <laughs> oh my god! We did a lot of damage there. And now we're going to run ahead right here 
and hold the line. I can take out this mage. Got a 99% chance to hit. If I use Searing Smite, we should delete him. Here we go. Oh my god, we crit him. He's definitely dead. He's got one health! What is this game? Every time! I'm not gonna... We're just gonna go for the kill. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Enter. Okay, what's he gonna do? I'll just let her hit me. Oh, okay. That's actually quite a bit of damage. I know I don't want to absorb elements. It's fine. I'm just gonna take the damage. Oh my god. Okay, that's a lot of damage. 27 damage. Right, Gale can use Fireball. Probably hit both of them. Like so. Nice. All right, let's get Shadow Heart in to kill. Six damage. Oh, we should kill him with Divine Nightshade Poison. Yes, we have. That was perfect. All right, let's try and jab her. Oh my god, we crit. There's a parasite in that corpse, brimming with potent magic. Even more power, you say. There it is. Take it. Absolute Protector, plus two armor. If you have the Absolute Mark, all spell damage reduced by one. And you can cast Fire Shield Chill. Oh my god, they all have tadpoles. Wow, I can just eat all of these. Moonrise Guard Key, that's very useful. Well, I would say that was a very successful entry into very the well. castle. Let's just drink some health potions with Uglash quickly. Since they were kind enough to leave the guard forward. keys outside, we we'll just come straight through the front entrance here. Ooh, even more zealots inside waiting for us. I just want to kill everything and go straight to the throne room. Let's head on inside. 99% chance to hit. Let's go. I even see, but he's dead. Let's cast Flaming Sphere. Then we're going to go stand over here. I'm actually going to see if I can jump in and cast Edge of Darkness. Which is Shah's Spear's secret attack. We missed. But we have got darkness around us, so that's good. Let's attack again. Then we'll make a dash. And we will run over to support our Glash down here. And with the axe, let's go and attack this mage. What's this mage going to do? Oh, okay. Oh, he's dashed the goblins. That's some. Oh, no, you don't. Suck it, Jim. Oh my god, another Guardian of Faith, level 7. Attack these goblins here. A little fun at last. Another enemy down here. Well, the spiritual weapon will keep them busy for now. Let's use Searing Smite on this guy. Try and take him out. Hopefully we can finish him. No, he missed! Yeah, you just know exactly where he is, don't you? Oh my god, Gale took 25 damage. Oh, he just healed for 82 health. Okay. Oh my god. Let's unleash a fireball at this guy. We can hit all three of these enemies. Whoa, 38 damage. Let's see what this mage does. Guiding bolt for 29 damage. Boy. Let's level three this spell. 70% with advantage. Okay, that's killed him. Good. My 80% chance to hit. Come on. Come on, kill this guy. Whoa, he's got eight health left. And here come the goblins, but they're no match for this. <laughs> I'm hoping Shadowheart can finish off this wizard. Starion. Okay. Starion can go ahead and fight him. I don't know if I should use Invisible because he's about to die. Let's see if Gale can yeet him off the stairs here, like so. We got him. We've thrown him back to Shadowheart. This is very good for us. Save the Starion then. 84% chance with advantage. It's on one health again! Damn it! Come on. Thank you. Thank you. He's only got 13 health. Let's just go ahead and inflict wounds. 25 damage. Get Rex son. And we'll just go and scare the gobbos. Oh, wait. This guy was here. He was hiding. I didn't see him. Okay, let's go and attack. Stupid wizard. Oh, wow. Get Rex. Big damage. So invisible because of this stupid cloak, which is really OP. I love it. Oh, wait. He's got one health. Didn't I kill him? Okay, surely this hits him. Seven damage. Finally, he's dead. Uglash. Uglash needs to take this guy out. 88% harm. Attack again. Just ignoring the goblins. They are literally no threat to me. 
shield below. Come on. Oh, they, I've never successfully got off this shield ability. Ah, how do you keep getting... Oh, Ow! He's invisible! Invisibility in this game is a lie. Astarian was actually invisible. How the hell was he see? He was in sneak and invisible. I'm going to go downstairs and cast a big fireball at these enemies. Get wrecked. I'm coming after this person. Forget these goblins. They'll never hit me in a million years. Big damage. 70% with advantage. Thank you, finally. Still got my crit attack, and this goblin is going to die. Die. Shadowheart, kill this stupid goblin. Some people are coming in through the door, so let's go ahead and use Ice Storm on them. Give them a nice greeting. Starion can shoot this mage to death, hopefully. He's got one health! He's got one health! Okay. One damage, Shadowheart. Come on. One damage. Thank you. He's the last guy alive. Come on, finish him. 13 damage. Nice. Send in the fireball. 5 damage. 29 damage. Come on. Finish him, Gale. Yes. There's an iron banded shield here with plus three. Actually pretty decent. If we give that to Gale, he gets 18 armor class. And it doesn't count as heavy armor. Dude, that's sick. Oh, so Lantov has three soul coins. Take them. The Halberd of Vigilance, 9 to 26 damage. That is insane. It's a sentinel weapon. Gain plus one to bonus on initiative rolls. He has also got splint armor as well. As you can see, we have made quite an entrance into the sanctuary of the Absolute. And now I'm going to sit on this throne. And then we're going to proceed up the stairs into the top area and see. From this seat, Ketherick defied gods and raised an army for the Absolute. It is not particularly comfortable. Hmm. Not sure it suits you. But that's probably a good thing. I didn't know there'd be dialogue for that. That's quite funny. We're going to just not sat in that seat. All right, let's head upstairs. There's probably going to be a bunch more enemies up here for us to kill. We'll find out, I guess. On the first floor of Moonrise Tower. Oh, yeah. There's some people waiting for us. Oh, they're all standing in a nice line. Wait, 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 wait. Shadowheart. This this is actually beautiful. Okay, so Shadowheart has the legendary weapon that has some of it. And wait, wait, why is it not working? Stand, stand here then. And I can fire it right in a straight line into them all. This is too good to be true. Oh my god, even the chandelier fell on them. She's almost dead. Beautiful. See what she does in response. She's actually blinded. She can't even see. Well, she's summoned. She's teleported. And she's fireball. Ouch. It is like the best spell, though, so I get it. Where's she running to? She's running for her life, boy. I'll obviously just go up behind her and delete her with this halberd that I picked up. 35 damage. Damn. Okay, let's kill this thing as well. So we've already explored this and Ketherick's room. Glory of the Absolute. A lot of nonsense. Now, one room we didn't explore is this room just here. Oh, there's an enemy. Kill her. So one room, one room we didn't explore was this room Brief just here. We, actually, we should Let's be able to open it. We have a key. Here. That works. Nice. The Moonrise Guard key. Yes, yes. I had my true form of <laughs> Fair enough. I did not expect that. I'm going to frost it up, man. Shadowheart, go ahead and delete. Oh my god, how is it so dexterous? Luckily it missed. Kill it, Uglash. 25 damage, nice. Probably kill it? Yes. What's inside you? A stained letter reads. My darling daughter, when you were a little girl, I would often watch you play with your dolls and your cousins and picture myself a enormous opaque silvery shield surrounding you, protecting you. I knew somehow deep within myself that no harm could ever befall you because I would not let it. Though the healers say I may pass into the city of judgment soon, know this, darling daughter. I am always around you. I am always with you. Moon Maiden will never allow you to bear a burden you cannot carry. I love you forever. A love that has no death. I wonder where this door goes. So this door goes onto the balcony of Moonrise Towers and we can sit in this splendid stone chair and look over our domain 
Now, before we get onwards, I have no spell slots left, so we're going to have to go ahead and do another long rest. You cannot wait while the party members are in the danger zone, so I have to go outside. All right, now we're back at the campsite. Let's go ahead and long rest. Do you know what happens when a devil is struck down on this charming plane of existence? It returns to the hell to the very point where it last stood before venturing to whichever devil-forsaken plane it died on. In the case of our friend Yergir, the Orthon you so handily dispatched in the Temple of Shah, he manifested in my House of Hope. He returned to me chastened but intact. His wounds healed, his body restored. He thought I would dismember him. But he has his uses. So instead, I am re-educating him. We delivered the devil. Now I want what I'm owed. We had a deal. Indeed we did. I discovered all there is to know about those scars of yours. It's a rather grim tale. <laughs> Even for my tastes. Spill it. Sounds fascinating. I'd appreciate a little less enthusiasm when it comes to Cazador and his horrors. Oh, come, Astarion. We're about to unveil your destiny. You should be quivering in anticipation. Carved into that ivory skin of yours is one part of an infernal contract between the archdevil Mephistopheles and your former master, Kazador Zar. In full, the contract states that Kazador will be granted knowledge of an infernal ritual so vile it has never been performed. The rite of profane ascension. It promises to be a marvelous ceremony, very elaborate, incredibly ancient, and entirely diabolical. If he completes the rite, he will become a new kind of being, the Vampire Ascendant. All the strengths of his vampiric form will be amplified, and alongside them he will enjoy the luxuries of the living. Ooh. The arousals and appetites of man will return to him. And unlike Astarian, he will have no need of a parasite to protect him from the sun. But the ritual has its price. As all worthwhile things do, Lord Gazador will need to sacrifice a number of souls, including all of his vampiric spawn, if he is to ascend. Imagine how he felt then, when one of those precious spawns simply disappeared into thin air. The only missing ingredient is a starion. Oh. You are the final piece he requires to complete the ritual. Your scars bind you to it. Your soul will set off a very wave of death, bringing Cazador his twisted life. And that, my tragic and toothsome friend, is that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have business elsewhere. Damn. Dude, this is insane. Okay, Astari just got a lot more interesting. I want to go stop him. I want to ruin his plans. That sounds insanely fun. Do you think it's so simple? Well, there's a way to become a living vampire. That must mean a lot to you. Hmm. The idea definitely has appeal. I could get rid of the worm in my head and still walk in the sun. I'd finally be free of the hunger. And if I'm the key to this deal of Cazador's, perhaps I can turn this to my advantage. <sighs> I need to take the fight to him. And I need you to help me. Oh, I'm there, man. 
If he comes to you, I'll defend him. No, no, we're gonna go find him and kill him. That sounds awesome. Thank you. Can't have How someone with more power than me, can I? The last light is no more. The shadows are victorious. Yes, and owing to your dubious compulsions, we've lost crucial allies. <laughs> you are powerful, but not insightful. Someone would like to speak to us. Who indeed? Oh, it's Gail. What's Seems going like on, Gail? A good, moment to talk. good evening. I'm here on behalf of Gail of Waterdeep. He wishes to extend you an invitation for a private conversation in a more suitable locale. On behalf of Gail? You're not Gail. You are speaking to a mere projection of Gail. His appearance, his voice, and a certain measure of his personality. Reconstituted <laughs> in this case to play as emissary and usher. Would you care to join him? What little I could glean from the portion of his mind that is open to me, it is a matter most urgent. Covered in blood, but yeah, go on, show me the way. Simply follow yonder path and soon you will find him. I hope. Oh, there he is. He's standing right there. What are you doing? This better not be another secret romance scene where he ambushes me with his affections. I love this time of night. There's an almost be. reverent silence that accompanies the peak of darkness. Have they done it again? When you'd almost believe the dawn will never break. The cradle of eternity. The timelessness of lovers. That most beautiful of fantasies. Oh my god, they've done it again. What the hell is happening right now? I'm afraid all this is just a fantasy, girl. So it is, but a very fine one. This may be my last night alive. I wanted it to be under a canopy of beauty and wonder. No pressure. I thought this place might bring me peace. I thought it might make the weight of what I must do feel a little lighter. But I'm not so sure. Is it truly what you want, to die for the promise of mistress forgiveness? Babe or crone, coward or hero, death is assured. Mistress forgiveness is not. If you knew the end was near, would you not want to ensure it had meaning? I am terrified. I will not claim otherwise. My face could scarcely conceal it, even if my words sought to deny it. There is no point in running from the inevitable. Better to meet it on my own terms. Nothing is inevitable, not when we face it together. You don't have to die. Yes, but there is so much to live for and so few moments in which to house it all. Damn you. Damn you for giving me so much to care about. Our friends, our adventures. This would have been so much easier if it was just me, but it isn't. If there is a way, any way, to save all that's grown dear to me, I want to seize it. I just cannot fathom what that might be other than to fail Mistra and condemn the world. Stay with me, will you? I don't want to think of it anymore, but I don't want to be alone either. Stay with him and watch the stars in silence. As long as it's just that and he doesn't, like, start romancing me again. Gail approves. Good. Surprised Gail's still with us after all of the evil decisions we've made. Gail's just standing there. <sighs> wow. I was hoping to speak to you, as a matter of fact. About the night you were kind enough to keep this melancholy wizard company. Go on. I wanted to... To thank you. I was sinking into a dark place. But you reminded me there is still light in the world. 
if I should care to look for it. You... You may well have prevented me from doing something very rash in the near future. I count myself lucky to call you a friend. The feeling is mutual. I'm glad to hear it. And I intend to prove myself worthy of the sentiment. Is Mistra always such a demanding goddess? She expects those who seek to use the weave to do so honestly and with respect for its potential to destroy as well as its potential to save. I doubt she's asked many of her followers to blow themselves up. <laughs> That's a fate she's bequeathed exclusively to me. She wouldn't ask such a thing if it weren't our only means of survival. However much she's annoyed at me. What did you make of my improved form? Honestly, I didn't know you had it in you. A dark destroyer in our midst. It's certainly one of the more unsightly shapeshiftings I've seen, but we can't <laughs> all be blessed with the elegance of an Asimar transforming in the heavens, can we? Beggars can't be choosers. Such a powerful form should serve us well in the chaos to come. He approves, what? How are you feeling? Oh, you know me, never the optimist. I'm trying to focus on the positives. Truth is, I was living on borrowed time already. Consuming those items would only have kept the orb sated for so long. If anything, I feel more at peace than I have in months. At least now I know my death will have purpose. It won't be a distant bang in the footnotes of history. Interesting. Let's ask Astarion about what he thinks about The beast our... you turn into, as charming as it is. Just make sure those claws don't come anywhere near me. <laughs> Bask in the Slayer's unwashed radiance. Um, yes, it does smell the part. <laughs> what do you intend to do about Kazdor's ritual? Before anything else, I need to know where it's happening. Uh, to the public, Kazador is an ordinary noble. A little reclusive, perhaps, but just another of the great and the good of Baldur's Gate. He has a grand palace on the hills of the gate, where he hosts the city's high society. Mm. I don't know if he performed the ritual there. It feels too public. It risks exposure. That giant gothic monastery has been inhabited by vampires this whole time. I know. Subtle, isn't it? <laughs> Raphael's playing a dangerous game, giving you the secrets. Mephistopheles is one of the lords of the Nine Hells. Raphael is not going to let any ire be tracked back to him. Perhaps Raphael even will gain from setting us on this course, who can say? All I know is I need to unravel the secrets around Cazador's ritual. And I can only do that in Baldur's Gate. That's where we're heading. Oh, Lazelle wants to speak to us too. I see you've picked up a paramour. Yes, does that bother you? No. But it heightens my cravings for you. <laughs> Not that it matters. You've made your choice. I'd only debase myself by asking you to unmake it. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> Go. Be satisfied. And try not to think of me when your special friend comes to keep you company. I actually completely forgot about you, Laser. Behold, for I am the Slayer. A fitting name. But have you become the Slayer? Or has a Slayer merely found a host too weak to evict it? I shouldn't need to say it, but be careful who you take as an ally. Especially when that ally's taken residence inside you. She's jealous. Any chance of sharing our, our bunks again soon? Perhaps if I'm in need of relief. Until then, I'll enjoy watching you squirm from the anticipation of it. Uh, okay. Interesting. A plot, the plot thickens. Alright, this is the moment we've been waiting for. Let's head through the ornate doors and find where Ketherick is waiting for us. Hello there. Ah, wounded are you. <laughs> you. What have you done? What have you done to me? You're more so again, Thorn. I've come to finish you. So for those of you that don't know, Catherick Thorn was immortal because he was feeding off the Night Song's power as Balthazar, his necromancer, orchestrated. But we killed Balthazar and then we killed the Night Song. So Catherick has nothing left. 
There are some very interesting speech options here. Surrender now and I'll consider letting you live. Melodia wanted more for you than this, Catherick. Stop and you may redeem yourself yet. Dude, that's so interesting. I actually want to pick that option just because we've read his diary. Otherwise, I don't think that would have been an option because Melodia was his daughter and also his uh, wife was a follower of Salunite. And he's gone down the path of Shah and now Shah's abandoned him. Let's see what happens if we say this. 10. Wow. Easy persuasion. There is no redemption, can't you see? It is too late. If Melodia could see all I've done, she'd know. She'd know her husband died long ago with Isabel. Unlike Isabel, he could not be brought back. Melodia is waiting for you in the afterlife. Return to Saloon and your souls will be reunited. Sounds like an ex-paladin thing, I might say. Kind of also want to see if we can talk this boss to death as well. I wish it could be so. I do. But the Moon Maiden did not intervene when my life was dismantled piece by piece. And when I tried to buy it back, it cost me everything. Everything. We are copper pieces in their belts. Tokens to be traded for scraps. You have beaten me, true soul. But the gods beat me first. Seeing one's enemies cowed never gets old. I am the chosen. The chosen. Did you know that? I gave up everything. My family, my life. I cannot stop here. I must finish what I started. One way or another. Do what I say. Prostrate yourself before me. For if you do not, your suffering will be worse. I doubt it. It is better that you bow. Do you hear me? Bow! Ooh, the relic protects us. You have no power here, Catherine. The prison. You've had it all this time, you worm. You will bow before me. And if you will not bow, you will break. Oh boy. Oh my god, there's tons. Oh no, this guy. Ah! He has sanctuary. So we can't attack him back. I didn't know Karnis would be here to kill us. That's not ideal. Okay, there's tons of enemies surrounding us. But we can definitely blind Karnis. Oh, blinded along with half her health missing. I think the best way to get this fight is to gum and hide back here. Then we'll deal with all the enemies in this little corridor. Like so. And then we don't need to deal with tons of enemies at once. Gale can cast Flaming Spear. Oh gosh, come back here and hide quickly. In fact, we might just cast Shield of Faith on ourselves too. Shadowheart, I think, might take some damage here. Look at him, he's got some awesome hammer. Oh, he's running imbued death. What is that? Deadly orders on the flaming spear. Interesting. Okay, so we've taken some necrotic damage. And all these enemies are casting Reach from Beyond, but it's immune. Shadowheart's gonna go ahead and bless everyone. Just here. Okay, so she's still blinded. And she's gonna dash at us now. But we should basically be able to funnel all the enemies into one spot. We wanna group them up for our AoEs, really. Okay, here come the Necromites. They're still attacking the spear and doing no damage because it's immune. Okay, here comes the spider. We get to use our Warcaster spell, Opportunity Attack. Which we miss. Annoying. Oh, he's going for Gale. That is, can we backstab him? 35 damage. He's got so much health, though. Off balance. Good, good. Right, we're going to use Searing Smite here and do as much damage as possible. Oh my god, we've crit. Wow. 
That's a lot of damage, son. 45% chance to hit, though. Okay, let's see what Catherick does. He should be on his way over to us pretty swiftly. Yep, there he is. Deadly orders on Shadow. Focus oh, okay. your attack, soldiers. Spider. Five damage, not bad. Okay, they're all dashing over now. Hopefully Gale can land some mad damage on them. Shadowheart can use Glyph of Warding on all of these undead. Here we go. Oh, she's no longer blinded. Okay. She's using some kind of fireball spell on us. Oh, no. this scale just got deleted. Let's try and finish off these undead. Come even more of them as well. Okay, so they're all attacking Shadowheart now, but they're missing everything. Okay. Come on, hit it, hit it. Yeah, why not? Set on fire again. Nine damage. It's almost dead. Right, let's help Gale up here. I'm gonna have to just dash out of here with the Star Ring, otherwise he's gonna die. It has Sanctuary on it again, so I can't kill it. Gale can use Misty Steps and just hide back here. There we go. And now it's Ketherick's dog's turn. It's going for the spherical weapon. A good distraction. Okay, Uglash can't attack the spider, which is annoying. But what I can do is turn into the Slayer. Let's do it, guys. Let's turn into what we were born to be. Goodness me, that is terrifying. So we now get multiple attacks. Let's go ahead and attack Catherick for me. We did two damage. I can use Slay, though. 50% chance to hit. Okay. I have a lot of health, so that's nice. He missed me. He missed again. Wait, opportunity attack. 20 damage. Okay, that's better. Oh no, Gale could get hit. Really? Really? How are you? This game, man. How are you seeing him there, bro? Move here. Use hill. See if we can shoot this Necromite to help Gale out. 10 damage. It's immune to poison, sadly. Okay, here comes Susteria. Oh, fireball. Oh, God. All right, kill this one. There we go. There's so many of these guys. They're all going to kill Gale now, aren't they? Again. Yeah, he's immediately dead. Fantastic. Whoa, okay. Can we finish off Karnis? Yes, we can. Then I'm going to run at her and we'll take her out next. In fact, you know what? Can we just bite her? If you can't run away. Let's go for Bloodbath on Ketherick if it works. Zero damage. Might as well use Let the Slaughter begin. That's all we could do. Okay, a star is getting cheated. Oh my god, it's coming to its master's aid. It's a good dog. Ooh, Catherick Fawn's missing his attack. I dread for the one time he hits me and insta-kills us. Oh my god, I cannot hit this guy. Let's use Flame Strike on these two, see if we can do some damage. Ooh, okay, it's not bad. I can use Mass Healing as well to get Gale again. There we go, Gale's got some health, nice. I'll end my turn. Okay, wait, where's my opportunity attack? Rah, oh my god, you're gonna kill Gale again with the same strat. I can never move. Gale's just, it's pointless for me to bring him back. He's just gonna die again. Piercing attack. Try and hit Catherick. Try again. Missed again. Try again. Missed again. If I use Restless Lunge, then I might knock him over. That might help us. Oh my god, I almost killed myself. Ah, yeah, they all save it. Honestly, this is useless. This is what the dark urges. I can't hit a single attack to save my life. Okay, so he just killed the dark urge, and now he's going to kill me. Arglash has one health because he's a half orc. I'm going to use Ward of Cold. Hopefully, we can do some damage. 11 damage. Can you heal Gale again? Might as well. Heal him every round. He'll die anyway. 
Maybe someone misses it. Oh, no opportunity attack. Oh, now I get an opportunity attack. I don't understand why I get one this turn. She's going to do the exact same thing. Gale, if Gale could just cast one spell, I think we could change the game. Right, try and finish it, please. The bane of my life. There we go. Now we got invisibility as well. I don't know if this is the best plan, but I just end up dying over there. In dead now. I was just stupid. That was probably the stupidest decision put in there. I think this could be GG. Transform into a sheep. So this ability doesn't work on him. Okay. I can only just use this spell on him again. It only does 10 damage every time I use it though. Okay, Shadow Heart's just taking like 8 damage every second. Okay, she's dead. Oh man. Wait, is she still alive? Okay, the only reason Starring's alive is because he's invisible. Maybe he can just pull off some mad damage on Gethric. Let's use uh, let's use this ridiculous poison. Coat weapon. Still invisible. I should be able to just stealth attack him with this weapon, with this poison. 32, and he is poisoned. So he takes 1 to 6 poison damage at the end of his turn. But Starion's going to die next turn, and there's nothing I can do about it. Unless his dex save. He needs to kill something. Alive. If he gets hit, he's dead. Oh, Shadowheart is definitely dead. Don't worry about that. Focus your attack, soldiers. What, they're focusing on her body? My lord beckons me. What just happened? You have no idea what you're meddling with. You're a pawn, a slave to forces you cannot comprehend. If he misses this last attack, we can survive. Oh my god, a Styron is still alive. How do I get out of this situation? We turn invisible. Why didn't it work? Okay, so now I'm invisible. Okay, okay. That was... Is there anywhere I can run away to? Alright, let's use dash. Get away from these guys. What? What's in this door here? Okay, they're killing Shadowheart. Can I go in this door or not? Oh my god. Everyone's dead, but Starin's still alive? Holy moly. That might have actually worked. I've just got to go back to camp and revive everyone now, and then go back upstairs and kill them all. I can't believe that worked. <laughs> it's going to cost me 600 gold to resurrect Subtle everyone. steps. I dread to think what's in the basement then, because I know we went down there in another episode, and we saw, like, it was probably the heart that we were looking for. Thou walkest alone. Resting. Ah, yes, he's back, the ugly boy. Thou hast now a bosom companion. Take care that thou art not distracted on my quest, seeking the comforts of the flesh. Excuse me? Call that in time all becomes dust and bone. A valuable um, lesson for you all there. So if we go back Cursed outside, I assume we're going to be attacked by skeletons again. Yep, we are. Okay, oh my god, they're all ready for us. Look at them, look at them coming. The battle isn't over, brothers. Bye. All right, the last silly skeleton. You will not evade death. Okay, apparently you will. Finally. Catherick leads. We've no choice but to follow. Sustira has another very good mace and a bone key. Which I guess will come in handy. What did Karnis have? 
Oh, we had the Moon Lantern, of course. And Cruel Sting. 7 to 19 damage. Sting the Helpless. A Drought Elf wielding this weapon deals 1 to 4 poison damage against restrained targets. Ensnaring Strands. 18 to 30 damage. Encases the target in web for 10 turns. Very cool. But what else is up here? Let's actually go into the center room. Because now it's all fallen down. And he summoned some kind of entrance into the hollow tower. There's also a treasure chest up here. And some notes. There's a scroll of her glory. The instructions are emissive to zealots of the absolute offered an audience. To be seen is to be known, and to be known by her is most perfect. One must rid their mind of all veils. Nothing can escape her unseen gaze. So to hold any secret before her is a folly. All you have, every little scrap of your being is, belongs to her. In return, you may be offered a fraction of her being, a shard of perfection lodged in your uncomprehending mind. We are true souls, after all, and the truth our souls hold are hers. So we know that it's an illithid brain controlling us. Can we actually open this with the bone key? Yes, we can. Okay, and in here is the Ring of Exalted Marrow. Subjugates the undead with your commands. Ghoulish touch. 2 to 12 necrotic damage. Is there anything else atop these roofs? bunch of boxes and what you can see is actually like a very misty look down to the toll house and the center with the secret Shah temple let's go and jump down this hole and see what misery we find below we're going to climb down this massive tower i think it leads into the basement where we saw in the prison a few episodes back right, i think before we go times. down go to camp and long rest all right let's jump into the hollow tower you peer down the hole left by tentacles that drew Ketherick into the darkness. Will you leave after him? Yes. We. The hole yawns back at you, impossibly wide. A single tentacle burrowed through stone. Please tell me you don't mean to jump down that esophagus. Thought alone makes my own jump the other way. Here we go. Gail was immediately ready to jump after though. That was like a slide. This is an illithid colony. This must be where they harvest the tadpoles. We're close to the source of the infections. Oh boy. All of this sitting beneath moonrise. For how long? And how deep does it go? Okay, so we're here on the map. And if you guys remember the last time we explored this area, there's another way in over here. So this area seems pretty big. <laughs> ah. I'm coming for you, for him. Tread carefully. We are very close to the source of the Absolute now. That telepathic storm has become a tempest. Oh my god, okay. I really wasn't expecting this to be in the lair of uh, Ketherick's own home, but so there's a flesh door here, or we can go that way. The stench. I wonder how many pilgrimages to Moonrise ended down here. Literally. Let's go and explore this area. There's a guy called Chop here, and he seems to be chopping some people. <laughs> No will sparks behind his eyes. His mind has been hollowed out to better echo the commands of the collective. You could kill it, end its miserable life of enslavement. Surely that would be the humane thing to do. Well, you could humane. take advantage of its vulnerability and plunder what's left of its hollow mind for anything that could serve you. What did you do to all these people? Chop, chop. Help them. Become, become what? Part of one mind. Four little feet dancing to same song. Ah. With a lurch, you realize he means the intellect devourers. Here, the brains are harvested, made part of the hive mind. That makes sense. I knew they were harvesting it for something. So, what is this place? No, sorry. Here, they become. I need to find your master, Ketherick. Master. Master. Down. 
deep. One of three. One of three. Let's enter his thoughts. Pliant as well-worn boots, his mind turns to his work. Chop, cut, sort, shiver of impact, crack of bone. He removes the brains, digs free the squirming tadpoles. The unworthy ones given over to the illithids to become. Why don't I send you to join all the creatures you butchered? <sighs> yes. Yes. Please. Oh my god, he wants to go. There's tons of armor here. What's this? So thing? much blood. The Illithids take what's useful and discard the rest. An offering from Moonrise Towers. Nice, I'll take that. Let's do it again. More offerings. Are oh, we already? Same body. Same. There's Harmer, Heavy Boots, Butchered Mines. There's actually like four helmets here. They look pretty awesome, but they don't actually have any purpose. Damn, look how cool this one is. It's like a dragon helm. All right, let's head back the way we can. I want to explore down here where we entered with all these intellect of arrows running around. Where does this go? Tadpoling center. Mind flayers and civilians side by side. This must be where they infect and transform those they kidnap. The device does not react to your presence. The device releases a stream of fragmented memories and emotion. The device does not react to your presence. To courage, conviction, defiance. Even as her organs began to dissolve, she believed she could resist. Neutral appliances. Your tadpole forms a telepathic connection with the device, and a chorus of static energy fills your mind. Every yeah. mind flayer in the room calls out hungrily from its pod, seeking release and sustenance. But there are others in the pods, those not yet infected, not yet a lithid, terrified, desperate to escape. I'm not helping either of them. The device is open to your tadpole's command, to your authority. Release. Purge. Screams, psychic agony, terror, then nothing. <laughs> the unfriendly flyer. <laughs> I can't loot anything. Well, that's disappointing. Oh god! So the old oh, is... brine pools, but empty of tadpoles. Unusual. Harvesting all the larvae indicates they are getting ready for something big. An unusual parasite here. It's... It's reaching out to me. No more tadpoles in here. Wonder what happened to... So this is talking about how they slowly turn into mind flayers and they're still under the Illithid's brain's control. Alright, let's head back out of this room and Seems into the next... Enough. Through the next flesh floor we go. The barracks? What's going to be here? Oh, hello. That's a hell of an absolute symbol behind them. Oh my god, their maces look so cool. Brace death. Become death. You are the sacred hand that reaches from the grave. You are the lasher of skulls, the carver of crypts, the dancer of bones. Walk in dusk and shadow. Let's go and say hello. Bring death. Hello there. Oh. Lashes. Balthazar let one of his walking carcasses lapse from his control. Let's ferry them back. Wait! By the pun, Lord. It's you. I thought I'd never see you again. I wanted to keep you for myself. But they shipped you away. What? Play down, let her believe you lost your wits along with your memory. Yeah, why not? Let's let's perform. Perform! We've nailed the performance, boys. Oh, poor stupid thing. Why is it even here? I thought we sent its pod away so it could be used elsewhere. Oh, adorable. I did miss it. 
its simplicity, its fear, its thrashing its own head against its pod, cracking its skull again and again in a futile attempt to escape. Who was I to you when I was here, before I was infected? You talk! And you are aware. How is that possible? Oh, but what an arresting voice you have. You're not supposed to be here, special one. That's not right. But I don't want to damage you. You were my very first, after all. I learned everything about the parasites from you. I remember finding you close to death. Beaten black and blue on the floor of this sanctum. It must have been a few hours after the tadpole was placed in your skull. How you got here was a total mystery. But I stitched you up just enough to keep you alive, then placed you within your crib. I kept you as mine, until you were needed by our superiors. We had such a close bond. I opened you up endlessly with my scalpels, and got lost in your insides. Catherine needed me. For what? The most important work. The nature of which I only heard whispers. Truthfully, I'm not surprised to see you found your way back here all by yourself. I always knew you were clever. It has never been the same with another. All the other victims who come here just meekly obey. You thrashed. You fought. You were indomitable. But as special as you are, you shouldn't be swanning around here, acting as if free will is yours again. We're going to kill you, sweet one. But I promise I will stay with you afterwards. Lashes, bring this one back to my table. And prepare my knives for a long night of experiments. Damn, Sam. What was if we're up for it, though? So we got a journal update. Open your scars, find old friends. So she was the necromancer who patched us together. Bloody vengeance seems appropriate. Okay, well, vengeance away. Let's use an arrow of ice. Oh, get wrecked. Oh, big damage. Then we'll summon a spectral weapon. Worms will want your carcass once I'm done with you. Oh. Oh, I love a, a uh, Harry Henry. What are you going to do, Harry Henry? Run away? I see. Well, two can play at that. While Gale can fire a fireball at the enemies like so. Take that. And then we will go ahead, jump over the fire, and walk out of range so they have to come out to us. Ooh. Probably finish off this one. Correct. Oh, here comes some undead. How can it see me? Bruh. It, how can it how can it see me? Shoot this one dead. Oh god, she's used Misty Step. She's gonna fire another fireball out. Us. Oh, it's why does she do 27 damage and insta-kill Gale every time? Oh, it's not Gale, she's killed Uglash. She's still Uglash, so he doesn't die. Sacred Flame. Fireball? Question mark? No. Thank goodness. Boom. Oh dear. How did Uglush die to this thing coming out of fighting? Doesn't make sense. 70% chance to hit. Crazy damage. Nice. Right, what did Caressa have on these her? Things. She had another mace, which we can steal. Wasn't even worth killing them, to be honest. Oh no, it leads to death. Prepare the march. My chosen gather below. Prepare the march. Let's have a look in this chest. Venomous fang. And there's a little study room in here. Where we can find another closed mind and a letter from Iron Figure. She, she's going to put me in there one day. Presser, who was initiated the very same hour as I all those years ago, is going to put a parasite in my ear when I sleep. Can't bear to be without a pet to experiment on. Needs to have a thrall locked away so she can go further than Balthazar will let her. Presser, 
I remember when we were just stomping on ant piles and raising them back up our first deaths. I hope you remember somewhere. She's just nuts, isn't she? So that was his bedroom. And there's another bedroom over there with a journal. I remember our life as a country surgeon back in Nashkel. We only ever wanted to be the best to learn how to staunch any mortal wound. How did we get here? Teresa hasn't been herself since the pet trousseau was shipped out on that Noitaloid. Oh, so it actually was us who was trapped there. I haven't been able to so much as touch her. I found myself growing green at the thoughts. My own life revolts me with those experiments. Not really my wife any longer. I thought getting that favorite creature dispatched would bring her back to herself. But she pines for that damn feral corpse with an aching need. If she finds out I ratted her out to Balthazar, that she was keeping it, got it sent away, she might kill me. Can't believe she was actually like experimenting on us. More research notes, uh, which tells her about her plan to keep us as a pet. So hoping to find some more information on who we were though. We can continue down this pathway. It looks like it links up with the main section. Whoa, what is that down there? giant chasm. This might be an elevator. Let me go ahead and short rest. Probably need to long rest again to get my energy back. We've explored pretty much every area around here apart from this section here, but let's check out this lift first. A whole fleet of nautiloids. How many true souls have passed through this place? How many indeed? There's another fresh mind here. They were all harvested. All right, then I guess we'll get on the lift. Assemble. Prepare. Assemble and evacuate. Prepare. Sound a bit confusing. Oh Is God. anyone else's temple squirming around a lot more than usual? I too. It senses something down there. Something big. Let us head through the flesh wrought door. Onwards. Got an auto save. No longer a background murmur. The presence in your mind builds to a roar. We found it. The absolute is behind this door. Gale, arm the nukes. Enter. Leave. <laughs> Let's go. I am ready. They won't see me coming. These are the other chosen ones. You said it was under control. It isn't you I answer to, Gortash. Oh, the general voice. Is this where we salute? Salute, yes. With cleavers through his blood-starved flesh. How it crawls with failure. Like flies on lick-wet carrion. You forget yourself, Orin. I have played my part. You built an army for our masters, true enough. But what of the astral prison? A rogue true soul flaunting it under your nose all this time. And you ran from him. Sure that they would follow and deliver it into my hands here. If you would cease these distractions. The distractions have been yours, Ketherick. Perhaps we never should have dug your daughter up. So you haven't lost your edge, but you're still not as sharp as Orin, I wager. His crypt breath sings to my sinews again, 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 again. But he must lead the murder march to Baldur's grave. If the weapon is truly in your grasp, Ketherick, might I suggest Closing your fist. Orin and I can wait for you no longer. The plan proceeds. We're going to the city and we expect you to follow. Army and the weapon in tow. The Edict of Bane. The last of Thor. Oh my god, it's the Elfin's Grave! Oh my god, IQ over 10,000. It's got a crown.
The Testament of Merple! An elder brain. One of the cruelest and most powerful creatures in existence. Enslaved by mere mortals. Look at that crown. It radiates with power unlike anything I've ever seen. To have it. To hold. Oh, if only I could. But I can't. This is it. I must do as Mistra commands. <laughs> Go ahead, we stand no chance against such forces. Let's end this together. <laughs> what? Dude, yeah, why not? Let's go. One last gust of weave. <laughs> One last gale to end them all. No. How long were you... How long were you reciting that for? Oh, he's, he's just gonna put himself. Got him! <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Didn't expect me to bring a nuke. <laughs> Beneath the smoking ashes of Moonrise Towers, the Elder Brain lies destroyed. But what of the tadpoles it commanded? Freed of the Absolute's control, they will complete their transformations. A plague of illithids will soon descend on the Sword Coast enslaving all they do not infect. It is an ending of sorts, though not the one destiny had in store for you. Damn. What? We just finished the game? Oh my god. I wasn't expecting that. That We've ended the game in Act 2? Dude, that is crazy. I think that was a good ending. I think we should just finish the Let's Play there and call it quits. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. I'm joking, I'm joking. We're gonna reload. Alright, instead of doing what this crazy goddess Mistra commands, let's, let's talk does. Gale out of it this time. Mistra commands. No, Gale, you idiots. You cannot do this. You cannot condemn us to death. What choice do I have? More than just a goddess counts with my courage. Whole worlds hang in the balance. Trust me, Gail, we will find another way. I do trust you. More than myself right now. Perhaps even more than Mistra. I... I have no desire to end your life, you know that. To end it? To struggle on? It is a grave choice you're making for us both. But if it must be so... I'll stand down to stand by you. There we are. It wouldn't do to fight in front of our guests. Behold, Duke Ravengard, the absolute. Who will preserve us? You wag your word, flap in vain, Alderling. Once the worm holds the whip, your shredded flesh will serve us. That's smart. So they want control of Boulder's Gate. So they control Now, the it's really time we were going. We will empty this place and begin the march. You may catch up with the army once you've retrieved the weapon. And Ketherick, do try not to sulk. You're supposed to be the fearsome general come to conquer the city. And I am the hero who will save them. It is time, faithful ones. March on Boulder's Gate. We go to prepare the way. Wow, that is cool. Complete the Grand Duke. Shadowheart is inspired by what? The Duke's death? Ha. We can potentially control him now too, or even save him because we have the relic though. 
I wonder if there was any outcome where we could have actually saved him earlier before that. There you are, as predicted. What is it, I wonder, that draws one toward death like a moth to light? You could have run away, absconded with the prism. The one thing that could prevent me from fulfilling my destiny. But the lure of one's destiny is irresistible, isn't it? Perhaps you hope to learn your place in history before you are erased from it. A bright flash of clarity before the snuffing out. Such a good voice actor. Why is the prism so important to you? The very fact of your being attests to its power. Despite your infection, you resisted the brain here in the heart of its domain. What good is an army of thralls if they do not obey their master? Let us speak plainly. My Lord Merkel gave me the one thing I desired, the one thing no other god could grant me. My daughter's life returned, her heart beating once more. For that, he asked that I serve as his chosen. Join Orin and Gortash to grow the cult of the Absolute, and then take control of it. He's never had a more devoted follower. I have fought great wars before, in the service of other gods and other powers. But for Merkel, I would condemn all of Faerun to death. You are all that stands between me and my destiny. And you have brought the prism here. Oops. I will kill you now. <laughs> and then I will raise you as my servant. Oh my god, we could try and persuade him to repent. Yeah, why not? 80. Can I add bonuses? Yep, guidance available. Let's do that as well. 27, nice. Repent? Would that even be possible? Perhaps. <laughs> no. There is no repentance. No release. My debt can never be repaid. He is here. He is watching. He is listening. He is... He is... This is Sparta. Kick him off. Why is that not an option? And one who belongs to me. I am the smile of the world I am the regrets of those who remain. And the restlessness of those who are gone. I am the wound of more than me. begin the battle. He is not blinded, he's just annoyed. Get Gale to use fireball to clean up these parasites. Die. Cast bless on everyone's shadow heart. Here comes the mind flare. Oh my god, he can just fly over. Wow, 21 damage and stuff. 
Okay, I was just beating him with the staff. Days of death. Too bad. What was that? He pulled loads of people towards him. Okay, they're attacking a Starion who they can now see even though he was sneaking. Oh, we could use an arrow of thunder on them and get them to fall into the hob like this. Not enough movement. Okay, I'm going to have to use dash. And we can just delete them into the abyss. Yes. Oh my god, I can't move now without him attacking me. I didn't know his range was that far. Let's use ice storm. Ooh, he did some nice damage there. Very good. Let's use freedom of movement on Uglash so he can not be paralyzed. Pretty essential. And then we'll try and heal him. See what the Mind Flare does. Hopefully he doesn't paralyze. Oh, he missed. Good. Gaze of the Dead. Save. Judging what that would do. Okay. Starion almost died in one hit. Uglash can use Burning Strike on this Mind Flayer. Max out a level 3. One hit kill. Let's go. Oh, tri triple damage. One hit kill. Let's go. Oh my god, yes. Then we'll kill this little brain. Do you want to use? No, don't use execution. Man. Just a normal hit. Next These turn, we will climb everything. up and start dueling the Lord of the Undead. We can attack this. Another Ice Storm for you, Lord of the Undead. Okay, I only did six damage, but I think it made him go prone. Like to King five. Oh, Gale, no, 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 I didn't want you to get up here. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's not good. All right, let's go for a big hill. See what he does next. So he's still encrusted with frost, which is good, because that means I can just attack him and have a higher chance of hitting him. If I use Divine Smite against him, level three, 45% chance to... Hit. Advantage against undead. Let's use that. Divine smite level three. Seventy percent chance to hit now. Here we this go. This is, this is it. This is big damage. If we crit, this will be great. Oh my god, we crit. That was mega damage. And we can hit again. Level two. Seventy percent chance because my buffs. Wow. We are caving him in, and he's so encrusted, so he can't move. Try and destroy these things with the sword. Oh, nice. We actually did it. Okay, here come the other undead. Let's just try and take this one out with the Starion. Keep it free for my followers. Let's use Glyph of Warding, and then try and hit him with some thunder damage. 10 damage. Not bad, not bad. All right, Shadowheart. It's time to unleash the legendary holy weapon we got. Sunbeam. Here we go. Should be super effective against him. He's undead, right? 12 damage. Not that great. Just try and heal Uglash again. I didn't know he could attack us all at once. Okay, Uglash. You got this, bro. Divine Smite. Still 70% chance to hit with our buffs. Make that level 2. How did you miss? It's 70%. Come on, man, you can hit it. 70% advantage. Hey, do the maths, come on. You can hit this. <laughs> Get toasted. Wait, he's back again? Impossible. Death. Cannot take me. I am its master. My lord, hear me. Nothing. My the chosen of Merkel is dead. Permanently, this time. Yes. Ketherick's Netherstone. It's in his armor. Take it. I just need to go and help Gale. Dude, that boss fight was epic, man. So the Nether Stones control the older brain, which we saw in that cutscene before. It's like the Infinity Crystals. In death, the body is cooling, and energy radiates from the stone. Swallow it. Mark. 
remarkable. Truly. Wait, you... And now the picture comes together. The Absolute is neither God nor man. It is the Elder Brain you saw, held here by those three against its will. The crown it wears controls it, and these stones control the crown. It has been dominated. To master an Elder Brain, to subdue it, our enemies are formidable. Such power. Can't you leave the Astral Prison because we've got one of these stones? How are you able to leave it now? A temporary reprieve, but a welcome one. With a brain on its way to the city, its influence here is weakened. Don't give me excuses. What are these stones? The crown's markings suggest it was forged in Netheril, an ancient empire whose mastery over magic rivaled that of the gods. It is a crown of domination. The stones were taken from its crest. They are nether stones, imbued with the ability to control the wearer of the crown. The crown's yeah. netherese magic must be the true source of the parasite's abilities. This must be what elevates their potential. If the crown can do this to the parasite, I dare not imagine what it is doing to the brain. Netherese? These chosen are powerful indeed to have such magic in their command. Such magic? Much wow. Do you know who our enemies are? One of them I know, Lord Enver Gortash. An arms dealer and a slaver. A worshipper of Bane, the god of tyranny. The other is a mystery to me. But the way she spoke, it is most likely she follows Baal, god of murder. Murder. Ketherick was a follower of Merkel, which means the Absolute is a front for the gods of death, and our enemies are the Chosen of the Dead Three. We're also a follower of Baal, which is cool. Chosen of the Dead Three. Bane, Baal, and Merkel. The Tyrant, the Assassin, and the Necromancer. They are known to pick from their most devout followers, a Chosen, granting them incredible powers. A shadow heart. Each one alone would be a formidable enemy. But working together and controlling an elder brain, I dare not imagine what they might achieve. Yeah. This plot is amazing. It is just amazing. Like, I just, it's so well done. And it keeps on impressing me. It's like, okay, we read about the elder brain earlier. I thought that was clever. And now we understand about how the gods are involved and they each have a chosen which i just think is very cool it's almost like demigod status as a mortal probably the closest you can get to godhood apart from vlakith who is an imposter god what hope do we have if the gods themselves are involved hope is a luxury for those who have a choice this is the battle of our lives and the lives of everyone in faerun the army of the absolute is marching on Baldur's gate within the city an elder brain Brimming with power, ready to turn everyone within its reach into mind flayers. All it needs is an order. An order the Death Gods Chosen are on the cusp of giving. We must wrest control of the brain from the Chosen before that happens. We must take their stones. Our chances of success are slim, but we must not fail. If we fail, everything ends. I will be your shield, but you must be the sword. And when the chance comes to strike, you must take it, for there may only be one chance. I didn't tell Shadowheart about that, but uh, Shadowheart, that was my wet dream waifu I made in character creation. Hetherick's Warhammer. Disappointing! Disappointing! 7 to 19 damage. Cowbird of Vigilance from this silly gobbo I got outside. One more damage. Disgusting. This weapon is worse, but looks much cooler. Reaper's Embrace. 19 armor, okay. Slight improvement. Looks very cool as well. Magical Plate. All incoming damage is reduced by 2. Reaper's Regility. When activated, you can't be moved against your will by any spell or action. Howl of the Dead is a cantrip you unlock that numbs nearby creatures. That's pretty cool. But let's be honest, I'm going to wear this because it's literally the embodiment of evil. I mean, look at me wearing that. That looks dope. Ketherick Shield. Okay, plus one to spell save DC and spell attack rolls. 
That's going to be really good on Gale. Ooh, crumbled notes. Let's read this. Papa, I love you. Love from... Oh, no. Really. He kept that note on him until his death. Now, the other thing down here was a table. Invitation to Lord Gorash. Committee of Concerned Betrayers would like to extend an invitation to a formal meeting in the High Hall to discuss plans, short and long term, for the economic livelihood of Baldur's Gate. Tuesday, 12 noon, a lunch will be served. May we presume your attendance? Oh, maybe we should take that just to, like, get in there. I don't know if that will work if we have an invitation. Amulet of the Absolute and the Grand Design Book. The Grand Design is the Mind Flayer species' wide ambition to return to the days of their conquering greatness through the act of sudden mass seraphomorphosis, giving the Elder Brain in overall command an implacable army of illithid slave warriors with which to defeat all of their old enemies, human and humanoid Githyanki. Of course, this is a delusional madness, megalomania on a cosmic scale, and I know just how to turn it to our purpose. We're going to help the Mind Flayers enact their grand design, but only in a way that suits us. The Illithids shall have their crusade to enslave us, but they will be acting in turn as our slaves. That is so cool. And we shall determine the how and when and where their great Illithid outbreak will happen. To be precise, I, Gore Cash, will determine these things, as commanding the grand design is clearly a Banite task. All right, let's climb back up here. We can take this portal here to the surface now. But, you know, knowing that this is some kind of uh, entrance to the Necromancer's realm, can we not jump in here? No, it won't let me. How about here? So there's not enough space. I guess I just killed a god and it filled the hole there. Really cool boss battle, honestly. Portal back to the surface. Is Gale dead? No, he's still here, just on one health. We should not linger here. The cult's army is on the march. Oh, hello. Withers! Come here, there are important matters to discuss. Oh, really? We need to talk to Gail first. I can't help but feel like I've been fumbling in the dark for too long. I've just had a lit torch thrust into my hands. Give him a chance. Yeah, let him explain. The crown! The one the Elder Brain was wearing. Netherese magic. So pure, so complete. I didn't even recognize it at first. Most Netherese artifacts contain only the faintest amount of their former power. The ghost of an echo of a memory. That crown was different. I can't fathom how such a wonder survived. Surely everything of its ilk was destroyed along with Netheril itself, but... No matter. It exists. I must learn more of it. Back up a little. Why is this crown so important all of a sudden? That crown sits on our gargantuan elder brain bent on destroying us and everything we hold dear. Understanding its true nature might unlock the means of our victory. We need to learn more about what we saw. An artifact as powerful as that crown must have been documented somewhere. As luck would have it, we'll soon find ourselves near one of the finest book collections this side of Candlekeep, Sorcerer's Sundries. I need to go there and learn all I can. Why would a Baldarian magic shop be the first place we look? Ha! Sorcerer's Sundries is no mere trading post has been serving the arcane community for centuries. Their collection of rare tomes is unparalleled. I mean, nethery sex are hardly commonplace, but I'm certain they'll have one or two stashed away. You'll have to forgive my eagerness, but if my suspicions prove to hold water, this could be the answer to all our problems. We must talk of the horrors you saw below. Minthara just chilling out on the throne here. Let's chat with her. I will never tire of sitting on dead men's thrones. And I'll never tire of killing their previous occupants. We make a good team. Yes. Although I wish we had collaborated on the killing itself. But I will satisfy my war last soon, for there are greater challenges than Ketherick ahead of us. It is clear now that he was not working alone. During my time in the cult, I came to know one of his co-conspirators all too well. Baal's blood letter. Orin. Ah. To think, I thought her to be speaking for the Absolute. I worshipped that woman. So it's personal. Good. Let's take her down. You make it sound so simple. 
She is the Chosen of Baal, Lord of Murder, and one of the cult's founders. Indeed, she is the one who indoctrinated me with the Absolute's lies. What do you remember of your indoctrination? When I first visited Moonrise, I stood before the Absolute in awe. It was more of an idea than an entity. Pure love. Total power. Oren was by my side. She told me that God had chosen me to be a true soul. Blessed and adored. <laughs> now I know that those memories are lies. There was no God. Oren held me down in a cocoon of flesh, while a mind flayer forced a parasite into my brain. And she laughed at my fear. I will find her. I will murder her. And I will smile. Yes. Yes, once she's dead, the cult will need new leadership. Perhaps we can take her place. It is as if you read my mind. <laughs> Perhaps you did. In killing Catherick, we fractured the cult's leadership. When we break the other Chosen and claim their netherstones, we can take control. Yes, I am with you. I expected you would be, but know this. What I propose is nigh on impossible, but if anyone can succeed, it is us. We have the prism, and we have the courage to slay gods. We may fail, but we must try. The power of the enslaved Elder Brain could reshape the world. We could reshape the world. And then we will need no gods. We will be their equal. We will be absolute. We have a purpose and a bond. By my oath, I will fight with you while that purpose holds. There is yet one thing about you that troubles me, though. Something I need you to explain. When we killed the tieflings at the Grove, I was not in control of my actions. You do not have that excuse. So I ask you, why? Why kill them? Oh boy. To impress you. <laughs> we simply have to. <laughs> I'm flattered. Will you be bringing dead rats and birds to my tent now that we share a camp? Do you want dead I rats jest, and birds? But it is as good a reason as any. I have done much more foolish things to win the respect of far inferior people. I am satisfied. Now, I am ready to leave this damned place whenever you give the word. The city awaits. And it does indeed. And so does my throne. I don't know why the soundtrack got really loud suddenly. And why is Withers here? Thy hunger denied. Saluna's faithful yet shines. The balance shifts. Thou hast seen with thine own eyes and felt in thine urges. The dead three unite. There are depths to this alliance yet unplumbed. Consider, mortal. Do illithids possess souls? Forget that. What are you doing here with us? Where matters of balance are concerned, I am eternally cold. Ah. I shall ask yet again. Do illithids possess souls? I don't care if they do or not. They're still going to die like everyone else. Don't all living things have souls? You would know, surely. No. Nor canst thou count mind flares among them. Yet, the three amass an illithid army void of apostolic souls that could imbue them with power. A flock without souls, yet to what end? 
O oh, tempted one, this is the question thou must come to answer. Hmm. Until such time, be availed of my services. Is he saying he's going to leave us if we made the wrong choice? You mentioned these urges. What can you tell me? Because we killed Ketherick and he knew us before when we were the Dark Urge. But now he's dead. Nothing thou dost not already know. <sighs> That's a trick answer. To know a lot about the dead three. Well, they died and he's recorded their deaths. Yes, Bane, Lord of Darkness. Baal, Lord of Murder. Merkel, Lord of Bones. Once judged, ascended, then vanquished as one and as three. The Alliance is reforged, mortal. The plains thus quake, and the gods shudder. Withers is an interesting character, one I really still don't understand. So now we have to take the road to Baldur's Gate to find both Gorash and Orin and obtain both of their nether stones. Let us head over to the Baldur's Gate fast travel point. I can't wait to be clear of this damned shadow cursed. I like darkness, just not when it's trying to kill me. Same here, Astarion. Follow Almost me. Further. Looks like an army marched through here. They probably did. Oh yeah, the army is attacking Baldur's Gate, I forgot. You're about to progress your adventure. Once you move on, you may not be able to return. Make sure you tie any loose ends up before advancing. Now I'll play you the cutscene from when we're traveling to Baldur's Gate next episode, but there's actually going to be a lot of spicy things that take place between here and our journey to the city itself. I'm also super excited to progress our companion stories as well, so I'll link the next episode down below in the description. Drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it, and I will see you there. Thank you so, so much for all your support on this series, guys. Like, it honestly means the world to me, so thank you.